All right, now to kick it up to the final notch onto this whole session of gourmet burgers, we're gonna do a kangaroo burger. So kangaroo is a very lean meat. It's got about 2% fat inside there. And so what we're gonna do is gonna incorporate a little bit of fat. I'm gonna use some good old bacon. All right, where's my knife? That's not my knife. No, that's not my knife. There's my knife. All right, so what I'm gonna do, let's get this out of the way. I'm gonna get this nice slice. I'm gonna get this, I wanna have all this fat content inside there because I'm gonna help make this really nice and tender and juicy. And this is gonna help that cooking process. So what I'm gonna do with this is to incorporate it into the mix and top it off to help tie things together and emulsify it. Not emulsify it, but help tie it together. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter as well. So I'm using about a tablespoon of butter, and I'll do it for that. I'm gonna take my roux, get the bacon in there, butter, and this time I'm gonna use Chef's International Seasoning, because I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. I wanna take, taste this in the purity of its form. Once you get, there's not a lot of people work with kangaroo. Once you know what it tastes like, then you can really start to experiment. So what I'm gonna do is knead this into there, work it in. Another way to make sure that if you don't have any bacon on hand, and yet you do have kangaroo on hand, uh, you can soak this in oil for about 15 minutes. And that will help it out. So what I'm doing right now is just simply larding the ground meat. And when cooking this, you want to go low and slow. So I want to be at low heat. I'm going to get a nice good sear on there. Good, nice thick patty. Now I'm going to, the reason why I want to do a thicker patty is because this is going to cook and it's, the doneness is going to be about medium rare to at most medium. It's going to be, otherwise you're going to cook out all the flavor. So I'm going to check my heat. Got some hot spots. See where I'm going from there. Let's throw it on there. What I'm going to do from this point, and let it go. It's going to take about 10 minutes. Uh, a lot of times when you get into your thicker cuts of meats, uh, when you, or your thicker burgers, it might take up, up to about 30 minutes just to cook one burger. Because you want to make sure that you keep the flavor true and not take away from it and overcook it. Especially with a good cut of meat like this, or a rare cut of meat. All right, so the next style of burger I'm going to show you is a compound burger or a stuffed burger. A lot of times people will do this with a good amount of cheese, you know, jalapenos, whatever you want to do. Sometimes they even throw in a fried egg. So this time I'm going to do a roasted red pepper cream cheese that I made myself. I'm using my roux burger. I'm going to put a little amount in there. Let me put it onto the sides right there. With that, I'm going to throw a little yeah, bit of some pickles. And I flavored this roasted red pepper cheese with some herbs de Provence. Real nice. I'm going to add a little bit of onion. I'm going to keep this close in, into the middle. So with that, I'm going to put my top layer on there. And what I'm going to do from here is essentially pinch it shut. A lot of times you will fold this into it like that, like so. But it's very important that you have all your stuff sealed. And when you cook this burger, a lot of times you will sear it, then bake it, just so it keeps up and pretty even. So next step, I'm gonna season it up.
nice little sprinkle. That's going to help out with the cooking process, get a nice good frost on there. And I'm going to go back to my first roux burger. Check the bottom. Oh, that was awesome. All right, so now that the griddle is nice and hot, throw my compound burger on there. Still going at low and slow temperature at 300. Throw my weight on there, and I'm just gonna let this go. This one's gonna take a little bit longer, just because I wanna make sure that this interior becomes nice and melted and all that kind of stuff like that. All right, so now that that's going, I'm gonna get my buns nice and toasted, and we'll meet you in the next step. This burger is done, it's ready. I got the, the liquid juices coming from the top. I'm gonna get my buns set up. And this time, since I got a real gamey flavor, I'm gonna go with that de uh, dust mayo, and then I'm gonna get hit it up with a little bit of balsamic onion and a nice tomato jam. I'm gonna avoid the cheese this time, just, just because. If anything, I would use a really nice goat cheese, just so I can get a good flavor situation. All right, buns are a little toasted. Let's go ahead and put our mayo down. Mayo's gonna go top side. The one thing that's really important when you are figuring out with your burgers, especially when you get the sauces, what do you want there, what do you want to taste first? Essentially, the bottom of the bun is gonna have get the first aspect of flavor. So in this case, I want to go with a nice tomato jam. Sweet, tart, and something that would really go well with this. And we go spread it to the edge. Get my burger, ready to go, looks perfect. Gets a little bit of balsamic onion, some pickles, just because I like pickles. And that's it. I'm going to keep it short and sweet and simple with that one. And that is your basic roux burger. All right, now going back to our compound burger. Let's check out, see how this one sear is on there. Really good. Looking pretty ooey gooey in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the temperature up a little bit just so I can get a quick sear so I can tie this all together. All right. And this one, I'm just gonna go with a little bit of mustard. It's got most of the toppings on the middle in there. Nice price to brown mustard. Usually I'll have a nice lettuce. I would pair this up with maybe a little bit of arugula. And that would be really nice with it. But I'm just going to go with the mustard. Now this is one that I would tie in a really nice sauce. Uh, possibly a wine uh, reduction on there. Maybe like a purple blanc of some sorts. Got it. Put it on there. And it's ready to go. And that concludes our Gourmet Burgers Day over here at Colonel D Gourmet Herbal Spices. Now if you wanted some more burger ideas or anything like that, come over here to the Jungle Gyms or you can go down to Finley Market and then we'll be able to take care of you. So until then, I can tell you, good eats. Oh, that's good.